good everybody um, I don't know how quick this video is going to be I don't know how much I'm going to actually have to say um, but I wanted to and, and also you know I do I do card videos but I'm into a lot more on YouTube than just cards I'm involved in a lot of Cowboys uh, vlogs and interact with those folks and so a lot of times I, I understand this video isn't very interesting to the card family other than y'all know me and y'all y'all probably just enjoy hearing me rant or maybe you don't enjoy hearing me rant but this is more for you know the cowboy vloggers cowboy nation um, I know y'all are out there um, and just to react to uh, last night's playoff loss to the Rams um, first of all I want to say that we lost that game uh, in large part in my opinion you know to our defense um, we, couldn't, we couldn't stop the run you know I, our defensive line was manhandled by their offensive line I mean bitch slapped by their offensive line okay up the middle uh, a little bit on the perimeter but really just mostly up the middle and uh, mostly CJ Anderson um, when they weren't running it up the middle on us they were play action on us and just uh, killing us killing our killing our linebackers um, it wasn't pretty um, and, and I will personally uh, I, I did not expect that um, but it happens you know and that uh, also you know on offense you, the, the way they were running the ball I know I haven't looked at the final possession uh, time of possession numbers yet but they possess the ball more than us and and that's usually our formula to win you know we want to possess the football we want to limit the opposing team's possessions I don't think we had but like six possessions last night and you know, we scored three touchdowns uh, you know when we don't have the ball we can't score <clears throat> um, and then you know a mistake here a mistake there a couple times when we did have the ball it just that was the difference in the game you know we couldn't keep up with their ability to run the ball we literally would have to score on every possession that we had the ball um, you know we had a chance to get the ball back and third and seven they literally bootleg the quarterback and get seven yards I mean it was that bad um, with that being said there's been many many a year when we have lost the playoff in the divisional round or later and I have been very disappointed but I'm not that disappointed because and I don't want to be like a moral victory kind of guy but I think there was a lot to take from that game and this season um, I think Dak has gotten a lot better um, he still made some mistakes last night he still has some accuracy issues um, and he made a couple piss poor reads last night but I think he's gotten better and I think since we added Amari Cooper um, our offense has looked night and day from where we were uh, the first eight weeks of the season um, we are one of if not the youngest team in the NFL I saw a graphic somewhere yesterday that the Dallas Cowboys do not have a starter over 29 years old and that is I had not even thought of that but that is impressive uh, so we you know this was good experience for this group if we can keep them together um, we lost our all pro linebacker this year Sean Lee and every year in the past when we have lost Sean Lee our defenses fell apart that's not the case anymore um, I don't know what's gonna happen with Sean Lee in the offseason I'd be surprised if he were back um, I don't know what his contract situation is um, I just can't see them playing linebacker rotation uh, throughout the year and you cannot keep Van Der Esch off the field um, we uh, 
we got a good defense. Even though we got pushed around by the Rams, we, we got a great defense. Um, <clears throat> maybe they need to add a piece. Uh, maybe we need an interior lineman, more dominant interior lineman. <clears throat> um, our offensive line was dinged and banged all year, but we still had a successful season. Uh, we didn't have Travis Frederick all year. Tyron Smith missed games this year. Zach Martin missed games. Connor Williams, uh, you know, he's a, he's a rookie, and he's only going to get better. So I think, personally, I think things are looking up. Uh, we did not play our best game yesterday, but we held our own, and we were within one score of a very good team. Um, so I'm not disappointed. I'm not too down on the team. Uh, I didn't necessarily expect to win yesterday. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty good. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm pretty good with it. <clears throat> um, I'm excited about next year. Uh, I think we've got, you know, a great run game, a, a, a very good to great defense. Uh, we've got a quarterback that can win. We've got a great receiver. Hey, Michael Gallup, woo, he looked good yesterday. Uh, <clears throat> so, I, I think the pieces are in place. Uh, addition here, addition there. Just like the Rams. Uh, the Rams lost in the wild card round last year to the Atlanta Falcons. And, hey, they went back to the drawing board. And they completely uh, retooled through free agency and added, you know, their left tackle, uh, Suh. Uh, uh, the corner, I can't even think of his damn name right now, Tlaib, what a prick, uh, they added Tlaib, um, wide receiver Brandon Cooks, uh, Marcus Peters, who was abused last night, um, and Cooper wanted some of Marcus Peters, I'm going to tell you that, and Amari uh, Cooper is not a very, uh, a person you see being very demonstrative very often, um, I'm sure there was something being said and something going on there. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. I'm happy with the year. You know where we were when we were three and five. I thought this team was toast. To bounce back, make the playoffs, win a game, you know, dominate the New Orleans Saints this year, dominate the Seattle Seahawks run rush attack. I, I think we're in a very good place in our division. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the future. Um, and like I said, we are one of the youngest teams in the NFL. Um, the second thing I want to address is just social media and just fans in general. Um, first of all, Cowboys fans, you know, that are calling today. They're still talking about Scott Linehan, talking about firing Scott Linehan. Look, if you're going to if you're gonna knee jerk after every game and, and want to fire Scott Linehan, then what about, what about this game? Are you going to fire... Chris Richard, uh, are you going to fire our, our, uh, Rob Marinelli? Are you going to fire the defensive coordinator? Because the defense was ass last night. The defense was not prepared last night. The defense was out-schemed last night. And you want to fire offensive guys. You know, hey, be critical. Be critical where, the, where it needs to be, where you need to be critical at. But you can't just keep saying you want to fire the same person uh, Scott Linehan don't coach defense. Give it a break, you know? Like, we have to have the ball to score. And, hell, I thought we did pretty good when we did have the ball last night, minus one fourth down that everybody's focusing on. One fourth down where we, we didn't get a yard. I think we were, what, two for three, three for four on fourth downs last night? You, you don't get all of them, you know? You don't get them all. Um... Secondly, to just fans in general and social media and the world that we live in. The world we live in has, as especially when it comes to sports, politics, has really, to me, become just almost intolerable. Like insufferable, just so much ignorance and short-sighted thinking. Nobody, nobody wants to take the time to... Do any of y'all really want to talk about football? Or do you just want to be like, oh, you salty. You salty. Y'all lost. You salty. No, I'm not salty, man. We lost to a better team. We got punched in the mouth. 
okay, let's talk football. But you want to put put up funky, funny memes and stuff. And it's one thing if it was from the team that beat you. Like, ah, uh, we beat y'all. No, this is from, like, either teams we beat or teams that are fans that are, you know, of, of teams that are way worse. Like, you ain't even in the playoffs. And you trying to talk shit. Like, and, and it... And, It'd be one thing if you're getting on there and you're talking shit about a scheme issue or, you know, you're actually making sense. But when you just get on there and you're posting stupid memes and calling people salty and where them boys at now and like, like, it's like we live in a society that doesn't have the ability to think. You know, it's too much for you to post or to say something coherent, you know, to say like, oh, well, the Cowboys, you know, they, they have the number five def- number five rush defense in the NFL, they really got manhandled last night, and here's what I think happened, and, you know, it was uh, none of that. It's, it's just all, your team sucks, and I'm sick of it, man. I am really sick of it, and this is a good na- good-natured, like, messing with people is one thing but it's like we live in this society where you know everybody wants to one up somebody and when they see an opportunity they run to the keyboard let me run to the keyboard and post my meme that I've that I've had ready and used all the time or or use my little saying you know you salty or use use whatever it is that I've been saving up for this moment and I just think it really shows a lack of intelligence. Like I don't I don't think, you know, I don't think either either you're not intelligent or you don't care enough to actually discuss things and I don't know, we live in this, you know, Twitter like society where everybody gets instant gratification and everything is immediate and you see everything immediately and it's like some of some people in this world have been given so much latitude to say so much by saying really nothing at all but what you're saying is a lot about yourself you know like i just you know and i'm not necessarily i know i went at it with some people in the card family page today I'm not even really necessarily talking about them there's a lot of good nature back and forth in there but um just in general, the comments that you see, and you know, I don't think the Cowboys fan base is in any way immune to these types of people. It's no doubt there's a lot of ignorant Cowboys fans. I ain't gonna lie about that. But you know, like the the Chargers got their ass kicked today. I'm not gonna run to the computer and be like, "Oh, Philip Rivers, this and I don't, why?" Like I don't understand it. Like. I don't know, does that somehow make you better or make you feel better about yourself to run and do that? Or like a team that beats your team earlier in the year, like when they lose, like you're going to be sure to run in there and be like, hi, you know, and post like, I don't get it. Like, that's, that's just not, I don't know, that's not the way I do sports. And, and politics is a lot the same way, you know, people... People run, people run online and make ignorant. Damn it! Hold on. People run to their computer and make ignorant political statements, posting memes and shit that ain't even true. You know, and you, you can literally call them out on this shit. You know, you can be like, "Hey, you know this? This isn't true." And they'll be like, oh, well, it could be, you know, and if it was, that would be fucked up. Well, what the fuck you post it for? Like, where's your, where's your intellectual integrity? Like, when, where do you draw the line that you actually stand for some sense of uh, thought? Or, you know, what, like, what's your floor? Like, how low will you go to where you're just like, operating on just your basic instincts and really just talking about complete nonsense 
like with a total lack of understanding of context of anything that's going on. So people will hear me say something like this, which I can't explain it as well as I just did, or maybe I didn't do a, a good job, but I can't go into as much detail. You know, you can't, I'm not going to go into that much detail on a post on Facebook or something, but I'll explain this, the, this feeling to someone and literally the response is, oh, you salty, you salty, bruh. <laughs> no, I'm not salty. You're a fucking moron. Like you're an idiot for real. You're an idiot. You know, you, you, I hope nobody takes this personal, but for real, it, if that's, you know, really all you got to share, um, that's on you. That's on you. You are salty, but you should be salty because you didn't learn how to use English or you didn't learn how to articulate yourself any better than, than posting uh, some meme of the little rascals or something. So anyway, that's that's my take on the world today and social media and how much power, not even power, but how much uh, it gives people the ability to just share. <laughs> What's that old saying? Sometimes you're better to say nothing at all. Like, because if you say something, people are gonna know you're an idiot. So I think people, probably a lot of people should think about that. You know, I hell, I didn't even know. I didn't even know. Uh, I didn't even know anything about you until you opened your mouth. But anyhow, that's my take. Um, Cowboys for life. I'm still high on this team. I'm proud of them. Um, and I guess at this point, you know, with the Patriots winning today, um, I don't know. What, definitely, I guess pulling for the Saints tonight. And, uh, yeah, I want to see a Rams-Chiefs Super Bowl. And I hope the score is 70 to 68 or some insane madness like that. Um, props to the Rams. Y'all keep it real. I'm out.